everyone, it's Paulina. I have not filmed since that last San Antonio trip and I kind of want to get out of this funk that I'm in. So I think what I'm going to do is get ready to go get a haircut. This is how my hair looks now. It doesn't look bad, but I just want to add more layers, maybe trim it a little bit. The last time I got layers was probably a year ago and they have grown out. You can't even see them anymore and I feel like my hair is just frizzy. And also the reason why I cut my hair, my bangs, all that stuff is because I get bored of it and I just get bored of my look. And when I get bored of my look, it just unmotivates me to do absolutely anything. So I think that's the problem. <laughs> I'm blaming it on my hair. And I wanna get more layers than before because when I first got layers, I was scared with how it was gonna look with my hair because it's kind of wavy and I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. When I got my layers done, I just asked for the front instead of like everywhere. And I wanna try getting more layers because i really liked how it looked since my hair is wavy i don't know why i didn't think it would look good but it just gave it more volume so this is kind of like a mini glow up because i already painted my nails clear don't mind this one this one's kind of broken but my nails are actually growing out i don't have the patience to wait for my nails to dry for any other color because clear dries super quick so that's what i did it also doesn't help that i can't wear any cute fall clothes because it's like 84 degrees outside it has been like that for a while now and it's already november how how does that work i'm just tired and i'm telling you as soon as i got my hair cut done i know my mood's gonna change but it's funny because i have so much homework i have to do i'm probably not gonna do it till later i'm focusing on me right now <laughs> so just think of this as like a mini glow up because i'm also gonna wear a cute outfit and i just plucked my eyebrows and i think they look so cute a little life update it's nothing interesting but it's something that i have really been setting my mind to i have been wanting to post more fashion content on tiktok i've uploaded like four videos already and it's just like my outfit of the day i actually really enjoy filming them and uploading them everything that goes into it so definitely follow me on tiktok because i am planning on being more consistent because the last four times that i uploaded they were like very much spaced out but for sure i want to have more time to film tiktoks on top of that schoolwork my actual job and youtube i'm a working woman <laughs> i've just really been trying to distract myself from a consistent pattern in my life because when i do the same thing every day i get really bored and sad like i'm not gonna lie i can't have a routine every single day without like switching it up at least a little bit or else i'll go crazy and that's what's been happening lately it's just school work and repeat and i really really hate that i don't like it anytime i film a video i have so much fun and i feel like if i actually do start taking tiktok more seriously it'll definitely be an easy distraction from my everyday routine in the best way of course so yeah definitely follow me on there <laughs> but oh my goodness let me tell you when me and mason were in san antonio we went to the river walk and to those who don't know the river walk is literally like a river, a man-made river. There's only like two sides to the river where it's like skinny walkways. People go on either side and just walk whichever way they're going. So it gets crowded. And we went at night and I feel like it is a little bit busier at night. But anyways, we were on that skinny path because there are some wider areas, but for the most part, it's narrow. We were walking one direction and then this guy was walking the opposite direction. So he had to pass by us and we were like shoulder to shoulder touching. He was taking out his wallet at the same time as he was passing by everyone. He was closer to the river. And as soon as he took his wallet out, it fell. It fell and bounced off into the river. When I tell you, me and Mason both looked at each other like, oh my gosh, that did not just happen. That would ruin my day. The only thing that was left was like an ID and something else. But the rest of it fell in the water, like his whole wallet. He literally like looked down. He was like, oh, we had to keep going because the line was moving and like it would have gotten crowded if we stayed there. But it literally happened right in front of our face. It was already dark. The water pitch black. He got out his flashlight and he was trying to look for it in the water. Um, there was like several people that were helping him. For the most part, I just don't know what happened afterwards. I feel so bad for that dude. And I looked it up. The river is like three to four feet, which is kind of deep to look for a wallet. So hope that man is doing good. You guys, let me just brag for a moment. I think it's been a couple months, almost a year since I actually started doing eyeliner. I didn't used to do it because I never found a way to make it look good for my eye shape until I finally learned. I try to include it in my everyday routine and when I tell you how quickly and easily I do it now, it's been an improvement. I still have trouble sometimes, but I know that it looks good. I'm just very proud of myself. It is such a great achievement for me, especially going from not knowing how to do it at all to being able to do it in seconds now. Yeah, I have bragging rights. 
there's something off about my makeup i don't know what it is i think it's my eyes i don't know it probably doesn't look that bad but i'm almost done just need to put on lipstick fall lip combo whatever <laughs> but i think that's it for my makeup i really don't like my eyes let me try to fix them i think i made it worse but i'm just gonna stop right here now i want to style my bangs because they don't look bad but personally i think i'm gonna cut them shorter because i always find myself having to curl them so i can make them shorter i'm not gonna do that right now but for now i'm gonna curl them because look at the difference between now versus when it's curled like isn't it so cute maybe it's like the little lift right here but i love it okay i don't want to style my hair because i'm gonna get it done so let's pick out an outfit when i tell you i was excited for fall clothes all of these are like sweatshirts jackets long sleeve shirts and i can't wear none of them i mean i technically can but i'm gonna be burning my ass off but i guess i'm gonna show you how i build an outfit when it's hot out it's kind of like a transitional type of feel i feel like this is giving me fall and i just really like it i was trying to find these for at least 10 minutes and i finally found them i'm feeling the low waist so definitely gonna try that and i just want to wear a tube top want to be comfortable so let's try on the outfit low waist are an immediate yes i really want to wear these but i don't know if i like this together maybe it's the tube top maybe it's the throw on but i need to change something i also have this tube top that's a bit longer um maybe i shouldn't wear a tube top i definitely want to wear black and i feel like this top looks the best i'm still unsure about this button up though yeah we're just going like this <laughs> okay here's the final outfit nothing much i got some converse these were thrifted these were thrifted this one i think burlington i usually get cold in stores and salons and things like that so i'm just gonna bring this green hoodie for contrast and call it a day okay gladly my makeup looks good and i usually go ahead of the place but i'm just gonna go i'm kind of procrastinating on my homework and i have nothing else to do so i'd rather wait because it's the same thing as calling in and being like oh okay here in like 30 minutes and i have to wait 30 minutes at my house so might as well go and i'm really excited i have been wanting a change and we're finally getting one i'm most likely not going to record in there so next time you see me i'm going to be a different woman oh my goodness she did such a good job i've gone to her like four times already i think she is so nice she knows how to do my hair and always does exactly what i want of course she curled my hair so this is kind of styled but the layers look so good she showed me from behind as well i only had to wait like around 30 minutes there was two people in front of me and she does a really good job i absolutely love it look at my hair i put on a white shirt so you can see it better but look at it I don't even know how it looks like in the back, but <laughs> I have been needing a haircut and I honestly think I'm going to trim my bangs again because they have not been curling right and I think it's because they're growing out. Definitely needed layers again. I love how layers look just because like I said, my hair type really like gives it that volume and I don't really have to style it because it just naturally curls and I just want to go out now like just to show off my hair but i really hope you enjoyed my mini glow up i certainly did i definitely am gonna be taking a lot of pictures <laughs> but anyways guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day and let me just say this the thing about my hairstylist she takes men and women so she's constantly hopping from one seat to another the men usually don't take that long so that's why it took like 30 minutes because there was like only two men in front of me she only charged 25 dollars for this that's why i go to her because she's affordable does a well job and she's so nice patient and i absolutely am in love but anyways thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day bye